Today our goal is to find acceleration due to gravity. So we're going to let this mass fall. This mass is going to be in free fall and is going to collect some distances. We know that when you let an object fall, free fall with initial velocity is zero, the distance increases quadratically, velocity increases linearly, and acceleration remains constant, which is 9.8, and that's what we want to measure, whether it is 9.8 or something else. What do we need? We need tape. So let's see uh, about a medium long tape. You're going to feed the tape to the spark timer. So put it inside a spark timer and attach the mass. Mass doesn't matter. It could be a hammer or feather. It doesn't really matter. Every object, uh, the, the, the heavier or lighter, fall at the same rate touch the ground at the same time if you drop them from same height. So attach the mass over here. So you're going to collect the distance to verify whether distance increases quadratically, which is d is equal to vat plus half a d squared and va is 0. All right. So turn on this spark timer. All right. Let it go. See whether the distance increases quadratically. So you're going to put a line on each dot to make it as visible as possible. All right. So as you see that the distance increases quadratically, the distance increases quadratically. So this is 1.5 centimeter. This is one point nine centimeter. This is two point one centimeter. This is two point four centimeter. This is two point seven centimeter. Two point one, two point four. 2.7 so this is 0 0.015 0 0.019 0 0.021 0 0.024 0 0.027 so 0 0.015 so velocity is equal to displacement over time so Displacement is 0 0.015 over 1 and the time is 1 over 60 because this one takes 1 over 60 This one takes 1 over 60 this one takes 1 over 60 this one and so on uh, so 0 0.015 divided by 1 times you flip it 60 over 1 so basically you're going to multiply everything by 60 so 0 0.9 uh, This is 0 0.9 and this one is 0 0.019 times um, 61.1. 0 0 0.021 times 60 is 1.3. 0 0.024 times 60 is 1.5. And 0 0.027 times 60 is 1.6. So we have, uh, this is the time. So this is 1 over 60. This is 2 over 60. This is 3 over 60, this is 4 over 60, this is 5 over 60. So this is the time in second, and this is velocity in meter per second. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 over 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 over 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 over 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 over 60, 5 over 60. And this one is, uh, what are you going to do? Um, 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8. 1 yeah, 1 1.8 covers everything. So the first point is uh, 1.60.9. So 0 0.9 is right here. The second point is 1.1, uh, 2 over 60, 1.1. 1 .1. 2 over 60, 1.1. 1 .1. The third point is 3 over 60, 1.3. 1 
over 61.3, 4 over 61.5, 1.5, 5 over 61.6, 5 over 60, and this is, where is 1.6? This is 1.6, is this 1.6? Yeah. So we have this two point, this is, okay, so this is uh, right here. So 0.5 over 60 comma, 0.8, let's say 36, 0.84. Uh, and this one may be, let's say 1.5 over 60 comma one. Meter per second square. So acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. 